Amatole District Municipality Heritage Unit was established in 2003-2004 financial year. Since then, it has been involved in identification of a series of programs that are based on heritage resources management. Based on that, a heritage resources management strategy was developed with clear objectives and strategies. It is worth mentioning that on the 1st of December 2011, ADM received a funding request from Ndaba Gandota Heritage Root Development Initiative, which is a non-profit making organization. Subsequent to this, a delegation composed of people from the Makoma Royal House and Ndaba Gandota personnel had a meeting with ADM on 17 January 2012. The purpose of the meeting was to introduce the Ndabagandota Heritage Development Initiative concept to the new executive mayor. A concept document for the proposed heritage development was presented by the delegation with a clear list of heritage programs such as Heritage Site Rehabilitation and Development in the form of the late Chief Jongum Sobomvu Makoma's grave restoration of the facilities at Ndabagandota to be turned into multicultural villages, heritage exhibitions and conference facilities as well as the annual Ndabagandota Heritage Festival. Born in 1798, he was the right-hand son of Ngega, king of the Khakhabe division of the Kosa nation. Implacably opposed to his father's ceding of the land between the Fish and the Keiskama rivers to the Cape Colony, Makoma became committed to regaining his ancestral home. Moving west from Ngiga's Kraals, he slipped back into the so-called neutral zone in 1822 and founded a new chiefdom on the banks of the Cat River. Despite taking every effort to placate the whites from his position, Makoma was hounded continually by colonial raids and expelled from his territory in 1829, the year Nriga died. In 1834, faced with increased military pressure from the colony, Makoma and Diali, his half-brother, had no alternative but to take up arms in an attempt to prevent further dispossession. Although conquered by colonial invasion in 1835, Makoma remained the most powerful Khakhabe chief and by 1837, a cost-conscious colonial office had ordered British troops to withdraw from Khosaland. A service provider was appointed to the value of 198,000 rand to implement the restoration of his grave. <laughs> 